All right, we are finally gonna get this thing finished up. We're gonna work on this chimney again. Last thing we gotta do is get this top all fixed up and we will be set. So I've got my two pieces down here. This one goes on first. Cover that hole there. And this one goes on top to keep any weird critters out. So we'll get working on those. This should not take very long. But this whole thing shouldn't have taken very long. So anyway, here we go. All I'm going to do on this is just mark where I'm going to cut this off so I know how long to keep it. I'm going to try to punch a hole just with this screwdriver. I'll just do some tent snips to cut around it. We're about to start cutting up some firewood too, down there. So you're gonna hear them in the background. But all I got left to do is put this around to seal my top on, and should be done. We're gonna let that cure before we put the rest on there. So we'll go chop some wood.
all week to get this silly thing put together so we can get our chickens outside. I think I finally got it good enough. So just wrapped some chicken wire around this old trampoline frame. Now we get to go get the chickens, which I'm not sure how I'm doing. So <laughs> I'll figure it out. Here's my great idea. Got a wagon, I put a feed bag in the bottom so they don't poop all over it. And I'm gonna put a cardboard box on the top. <laughs> and hopefully I can keep them in there and pull the wagon to the backyard. <laughs> this will be interesting. nice weather so it's kind of our trial period to see how they'll do out here but we're gonna have to end up getting them some sort of shelter and probably some straw to bed down in but let's see what how this goes I just gave them food and water. They don't even care about the food. They're just happy to have room to move and eat some grass. We have some neighbors down the street that had some old straw bales they wanted to get rid of. So I've got them loaded in the truck. I'm gonna unload them around our chicken coop to, well, look use them in the coop during the winter and they will also make a nice shelter for our ducks who can't get into the coop. Um, so first I'm going to start with cleaning out some of the coop so I can put straw, fresh straw back in there and then also unloading the straw bales from the truck. Barrett built this coop with these nice doors over here.
only took a few minutes. I guess I should have shown up before and after, but you can see this lovely pile. And maybe we can see the inside. Looking a lot better in there. We are sometimes lazy animal owners. We usually only clean out this coop about every six months. So that pile is about six months worth of poop. So now I'm gonna put some fresh straw in there and we should be good for another six months. <laughs> Throw it in there real loose. Let them scratch it around. Looks like tons in there, but they'll pack that down as they walk across it. It is a beautiful November morning. We have been really lucky to have some nice weather this week. Um, so this morning we are borrowing a tractor from a good friend down the street. It's about a mile and a half drive and Barrett is currently driving the tractor home and then we are going to move all of this all of this ooh, ooh, i'm so good with the camera into the garden over there somewhere that i'm can't point at <laughs> so awesome the tractor was going to do great work because barrett's been trying to shovel it by wheelbarrow and it <laughs> forever so yeah that's our job for the day and stacking some more wood hoping to get it all stacked away in our shop for the winter um, yeah the kids are gonna be a little disappointed they've been playing on these wood chip piles for weeks but we need it in the garden so that's where it's going so here we go in order for us to be able to get all of the wood chips to the garden, we've got to move our paneled fence. And I guess we're going to just let the cows out into the yard for a little bit. So we'll see how that goes.
up a little bit from making a mess. Okay, so come easy, come here.
Well, we had a busy week, still getting ready for winter. We got a lot of things done, but we still have a ways to go. Um, most of the things that are done now, or that aren't done, are things that we could probably wait on, except for firewood. We do have the fire going. We got a, quite a bit of firewood already um, chopped up, but we got a lot more we got to chop and get it all ready. Um, but just wanted to sign off and we'll see you guys next time.